Welcome. We're going to do the clacker. And we are going to get rolling with tonight's game. Now, the truth is, well, actually, we've already been here around the table for the last few minutes discussing what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. And we're just going to try and uh, help Thaddeus through the shock that he feels right now. Uh, you, Rob, let's have a... Yes. He and I, we just did kind of a <laughs> private session, the two of us, following the storyline of what is happening to him separate from the rest of the players. For anybody who's never seen our stream before, uh, we are the Wilders. Uh, my name is Dave Wildson. I am the Game Master. Going around the table to my left Josephine is... Smith. Hi. Pew, pew. Wait, where am I? Where are your guns? <laughs> Get them. Pew, pew. <laughs> Josephine Smith. And uh, Lavinia Rose. Who Howdy, is, uh, everybody. My name's uh, Lavinia Rose. And Percival Redfeather, at your service. And how do you do? My name's Thaddeus Poindexter. Mr. Poindexter. We're missing somebody tonight. Raven uh, is played by Glenn. Poor Glenn. We feel sorry for him right now because where is he again? Where is he? Mexico. Oh, he's in Mexico. On a cruise ship. Gross. On a cruise ship. In and that guy. And the, what, what's the plan for them on their cruise ship? They're going to they're going to watch oh, to the, the eclipse. solar the eclipse. solar eclipse. Did I tell oh. you, um, my really good friend, hey, Tyler, if you're watching, I'm talking about you. Um, my really good friend, Tyler, that I knew from the, the eighth grade onwards, is going down to Tyler, Texas, to do the to uh, Totality Tyler and experiencing all of the ex eclipse in Texas. Um, and that was his, like, lifelong dream, and he's doing it right now. For Tyler to be in Tyler? Tyler to be, and he's taking, he's getting his pictures taken in Tyler, Texas. It's going to be Tyler e vision. E every, everything that says Tyler, he's going to be like, hey, I'm Tyler. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Tyler, for you and for me. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Tyler. Hope you have an amazing time in Tyler, Texas yeah, good for during you, Tyler. the eclipse. Awesome. Hi, Tyler. Anyways, sorry. Okay, so yes, uh, they, we've got um, myself and the four players tonight, not five. So Raven's just going to have to find out what happens. I'll make sure he doesn't get killed off tonight, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will proceed on now with the story. Quick recap on the story. We've been playing this game for since 2022. Mm -hmm. So many, many sessions. It's 1899, back in the old world, Terra. In the new world era, they don't really know what year it is. But it's a very different world, different cultures. They've discovered a portal system amongst all of their adventures. If you want to find out about what their quests are, their main goal for this entire campaign is, uh, you'll find that... Uh, backstory written in just a little blurb of it written in any of the videos that we make and put on youtube you'll find it in the trailer that's on our end screen and uh, i'll be putting it along with other details on our website wildermage.com that's with a y w-y-l-d-e-r-m-a-g-e.com uh, right now we have the biographies on the website of all of our characters so you can find out their backstories and what's happened with them. Thaddeus is still needs an update. I know I didn't get it done this week. <laughs> he sent me an update and I haven't got it on there yet, but most of it's pretty accurate for what's there. Any other details? Am I forgetting That's anything? Fine. Stuff that we need to Anyone? remind first time viewers about? Um, Cause this is a relatively well, new stream. There is one thing we, we, uh, we still don't know what triggers the tiger effect. Oh yes. Still don't know. Percy. Three uh, episodes ago, yeah. found out that he is now permanently cursed as a weir tiger. Mm -hmm. And so far, it hasn't happened again. We don't know what triggers it. He doesn't know what kind of controls he's got, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and Thaddeus is missing. Thaddeus, uh, the, the group used this portal system. They ended up going someplace quite tropical. And uh, Thaddeus went to investigate what looked like what, what would be at the bottom of the lagoon. Uh, in this this tropical cove they were in, he found a shipwreck down there, and then that was it. 
No more sign of Thaddeus. The rest of the group, thanks to the fact that Lavinia's got a water breathing spell, have gone down. Uh, they have discovered that right behind this shipwreck there is a passage. They've gone through this passage into a big subterranean cavern that has shown some tracks in the mud. Obviously, Thaddeus has been there, and he wasn't there willingly. Apparently, he was stumbling through being dragged or pulled by somebody, and there were a lot of confused marks around. Some of them were booted feet. Some of them were bare feet. The Wilders have tracked this far, thanks to Josephine, who's always a, got a good eye for stuff like this. And then they encountered pirates. That was our last episode. Pirates. Pirate and zombies. Pirate zombies, yes. They were pirate undead zombies, pirates. And there was one, three rocks. Three rocks? There were three, three rocks. rocks, and we came towards the three rocks, and I've gone through them. Oh, we're, we're through the now three rocks. Now we're through the oh, river, yes. and we Those encountered the, the, three, uh, the zombie pirate captain. So you guys are fighting that captain. captain, right? So let's right. go to the map, and we'll have a look. There we go. Oh, look, no, we no, even no, have the captain. Yeah, we, we defeated one zombie pirate, and the other one walked into the river to his doom. Yes, but no, now there's, there are um, when we last left off, there was two. There was the zombie pirate captain, and there was oh. another zombie. You need another zombie. Oh, oh yes, we need another I'm sorry. Good I'm call. Sorry. Good call. Oh, Good call. Good call. I'm sorry. It just, I, like, I just literally just watched She's it. She's so. flirting with disaster today. So now mm. she knows. Again. Every day. Why can't Come on, I ever disaster. find a pirate zombie? In this case, the pirate zombie... The other pirate zombie will be played by the man in the blue coat. The man in the blue coat. Oh, there we go. He's over this way? Looks like a flasher. <laughs> okay. Have we got him? Are we good? We're good. All right. Let's go. So we left off and we were uh, right in the middle of this encounter. You guys were actually fighting him. Mm -hmm. And it was Raven's turn to go next. So Raven rummages through his spells. He's not here, so I'm doing this for him. He rummages through his spells, and he pulls out a scroll of levitate. He looks at... Oh. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Such an inside joke. Oh Dear Lord. Uh. We had a wizard with us, and this was, this was like five years ago. He's a good buddy of ours. He's a great guy. <laughs> And he would play a wizard, and his go-to was to levitate everything. He was levitating all stuff all the time, even and it would cause problems because he they'd be fighting monsters, and he would levitate them up out of reach of of the of the party, so that they couldn't finish them off. You couldn't get like them that. with melee weapons; you had to shoot something at them. Or or he would levitate himself. Or he'd levitate himself. No, so he's the no, target. No, no offensive spells. No, I'll just levitate and float up in the air and watch everything. Yep, yep. And he's a piñata, so all the <laughs> Okay, so no, he doesn't do that. We know exactly Greg, if what you're Raven watching, does. we love Raven you. Raven is just itching to use one of his fire cantrips. That's one of his main go-tos, right? So I'm going to play the way he would usually play. He's going to roll to hit. And he rolls a 20. Woo! Oh! Way to go! Nice. Nice. Good there it job. is, 20, 20, 20. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Okay, so that means double damage. We can actually look at Raven's character sheet so I know what I am talking uh, about. Give me a sec. He decides that he is going to use, oh, no, he would prefer tele telekinetic projectile. That's what he likes to use. Yeah, he yeah. loves that. Mm -hmm. All right, he rolls to hit. He hit a 20, so it's going to be double damage. And he's going to deal bludgeoning, piercing 1d6, plus his spellcasting modifier, which is... Th four. His spellcasting modifier now is four. So he rolls a one. Oh, bad roll. Here he goes. One more time. And he rolls a five. That's good. Six plus four. He does ten points of damage to this monster. And I will take that off of the monster's hit points. And then it becomes Lavinia Rose's turn. All right. Uh, Josephine, you'll be next. Then we've got an undead uh, pirate, then Percy, and then undead pirate. And Thaddeus is off someplace else, doing something else. So how far away is this gentleman over here from us? The one behind you? The one across? Right, like staring you in the face or this one? Uh, the one staring me in the face. 
So you're like 10 feet away. Okay. This guy here. Yeah. I'm, 10, 15 feet. Yeah. I am magic missiling him. Magic missileing. So uh, he cannot avoid a magic missile. Nope. Uh, a little clarification for people that are home and watching. They might be confused about what gaming system are we using. We use Pathfinder for our character sheets and our maps and our encounters. We like the three-action economy of Pathfinder. But you're going to hear us refer to a lot of old-school D&D spells because we like those better. So even though Pathfinder is doing things like changing the name of Magic Missile to uh, Force Barrage... Uh, we're not doing that. They can do that. We don't have to, and we are not. So, Lavinia still has magic missile. You can roll. Are you doing, you're standing right there. You're going to do one, two, or three missiles. Three. Three missiles. Roll the damage on them. Three D4s. You get to add one point to that. There's nothing the monster can do to resist it. Six. Six. She rolled six. Total okay. six points. You get to add one to that for a total of seven points. That's all of your actions, too, because you're doing all three, and it's one missile per action, right. which means that it becomes Josephine's turn next. Mabel. Mabel. Okay, Mabel. Mabel. Mabel's your big rifle, right? Your big old sniper rifle? Yep. It's named Mabel? Mabel. All right. Oh, by the way, I wanted to also remind you guys, uh, we are now starting to actually save the audio from our games as a podcast. Which means that when we talk about stuff, we need to say what it is for people that don't have the benefit of watching uh, our video on screen. So we're, I'm, gonna, I'm the worst for that, but we'll all try to remember, okay? That's yeah. great. You roll Thank the hit you. with Mabel. Mabel is my um, go-to. She's my girl. She's my rifle. And she's a big old one. If you hit, it's a 1D10, right? Barely misses, ever. <laughs> and you rolled an eight. An eight. Mm -hmm. What's well, your bonus to go with that eight? Uh, it's it? ten. Yeah. Just misses. Oh. Crying out loud. Rolling again. Okay. <laughs> All right. You only get a plus five on this. <laughs> that doesn't look good. I think it's damp in here. <laughs> it's the damp <laughs> is affecting your ammunition. So uh, you guys had put your guns in the bag of holding so they wouldn't get wet when you were in the lagoon water. But, but like, just in yeah. this cavern, it's very damp in because here. Because what number was that, Joseph? Four. Four. Oh, well, I that's... didn't get a one this time. Yeah. You, did, you didn't get a one. You're okay. That's <clears> not <throat> as bad. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just pass my next turn because what's four? Reload. Four. Reload. <laughs> reload. Yes, yeah, reload. Reload. Oh, reload. 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 Metagaming by Thaddeus, who's not Thank even you. here, by the Appreciate way. Appreciate it. Good job. <laughs> Like but he's 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 not me. really here right <laughs> now, so there we go. Okay, and it is now the undead uh, pirates' chance to react. The one that's right in front of you turns around. Who is closest to him is obviously Lavinia, and he immediately. No, 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 no. Oh, that one. Yeah. Okay. He immediately pulls out both of his. He's got both cutlasses out like this, and decides that he is going to attack i better get this set up the right way he is going to attack lavinia so we're going to see if he hits and with a 20 yeah he frits lavinia oh not good and that's 2d6 plus three slashing so we are going to see the first one is a two. Second one is a one. Oh god you're lucky and the third one is... Oh, there is no third one. It is three points of damage. Three plus three. Six points of damage. Oh. Darn. Dang it. Dang. Dang it. Dang it. Dang, ding, dang. So the second thing uh, about this particular undead captain that you've been fighting is you need to roll fortitude, Lavinia, because as he is attacking you, there's this just odious black <coughs> mist emanating off of him. And as it contacts your skin, you start to feel some tingling. What did you get? Uh, 16 plus whatever my... Your fortitude well, whatever bonuses. is your fortitude. I'm plus nine. So 25. 
is enough to resist. Yay! And the fever does not take you. That's good. The fever. That is the end of the uh, captain's turn. It becomes Percy's turn. What do you want to do, Percy? Okay, well, um, I guess I'm going to go swoopity, uh, duke with my black feathered arrows to uh, do the hunted shot on the guy. Is that the sound your black your your shadow bow makes? Foopity shoop. Foopity foopity shoop. Foopity shoop it goes. Doesn't sound very sinister. Yeah. Shoop shoop doop shoop doop. Shoop doop 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 on the first roll. Did you see that? They're serious about the gameplay. They yeah. think they're like Gandalf and the rest in Lord of the Rings, but really so they're first shot was Monty a 20 Python. Eight. That's, that's who they are. They're Monty Python. Second shot. All right. Uh, 18. So the second shot misses. First shot was a 28, so it hit. Really hits. And uh, That's a crit. Is it? Okay, yep. good. So let's do some Woo-hoo. extra damage. Uh, and I believe it is... My thing is not starting up. So, um, I thought it was one. D10. What are you? What are you hitting him with? Your uh, bow? The, the arrows, uh, black bow. Yeah. With the I will tell you. Dead arrows. Your bow does one D eight and a one D four. One D four. Remember, because it's got shadow damage. Right. Shadow because damage. it's a shadow bow. Yeah. Uh, so you get one D four shadow damage and one D eight plus one piercing. Twelve points. Of damage. Boom. And do I double that? I'm going to say yes, because you, you credit him. All the damage. All the damage, all the all time. The damage. All the damage, all the time. And shooping, even. <laughs> we need... Oh, you know what? That what? reminds me. Hmm? I have a Skookum New sound pad that I've been building. And your bow... See if it makes a sound. Let's see if we hear it. All right, hold on. We're going to do it one more time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I heard the creak. Uh, yeah, it, I heard the creak. I, I heard I it. I didn't hear a thwop or a... Let's try it one more time. Shoot your bow. Ready? There we nice. go. Nice. Nice. Okay, so my um, second... I'm going to shoot, shoot again. Um, 16 plus 10, 26. To hit it? Oh wait, wait! No, I don't get uh, I don't get the bonus of ten on the second shot, do I? You get five, but you still hit it. Uh, With so twenty six, yeah, you're okay. Twenty one, so it'd be so roll damage. Yeah, roll damage. So that's a D eight and a D four. D eight, D four. Oh my god! <laughs> I rolled an eight and a two. So nice. uh, yeah, and then is it plus one? So yes, it piercing. is. So uh, ten, eleven you, points of damage. You get plus one for piercing. More damage. So there are two black arrows sticking out of him. Sook, sook. That was Percy's turn, and yep. uh, it becomes the other undead who has been slowly walking towards you. So there's, okay, we've got the one walking towards you in the back. And Josephine, you is that the one you faced off with and took a shot at? I guess. He lurches forward, and he goes 5, 10, 15... 25, and he can actually, he'd come right up to her, and he's going to be able to swing to hit her. Oh. So he is going to merely swing a big old cutlass at her. And what's your armor class, Josephine? Mine? Hmm, well, he rolled a two. I don't think he hit <laughs> No, I don't think he hit He is SOL. Okay. So he misses you. He attempts to attack you again, not understanding what happened. And he rolls a 10. Uh, hold on. He gets to add only four to that. So he misses you again. Having missed you twice, he just tries with his jaws. And you see this big mouth open up as he's going to try and bite you. So he's got how many attacks, this guy? Three. Three actions. Three actions, three, three attacks. Eh? Okay. Oh, but he moved. He wouldn't get the third attack. What? Oh, okay. Because he walked up. I don't okay. think he would have bit you with that kind of penalty anyway. So. I think you're okay. Up. Chomp, chomp. <laughs> That's the end of his turn. It becomes Raven's turn. 
He has summoned his Velociraptor. Didn't he summon the Velociraptor? Yes. Last time he did, yeah. He rolls a four plus eight and totally misses. I'm only going to give him one, the one attack. His leaping charge fails. And uh, so what he does is that uh, Raven decides that uh, instead of that, he's going to cast a spell because his Velociraptor's pet has failed. And he decides he's going to go with Telekinetic Projectile. I'm going to try to throw another big old stone at him. He rolls to attack, and he rolls a four. Raven's not doing too well, and he misses. <laughs> and he says, okay, that's enough for me. I'm just going to make move myself someplace really safe. He I'm going to stand to right in the middle somewhere. of everybody. Squishy yeah, you move somewhere. away. Move away about 10 feet. That's where he'll go. That's, and that's what he would do anyway. That's always what Raven does. Always. Okay, so... Uh, that means that it is Lavinia's turn. Josephine, you're next. All right. Um, I am going to do a combined heal spell that I have one hand on me and one hand projected towards the captain because... Um, oh, I know what's going Heal on. causes damage. A so. heal will cause damage to the undead because it's positive energy. Right. Oh. Yeah. Good job. So. Okay. So cute and wholesome. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to heal you. Ah! <laughs> it's lovely. It's like the ending of a Disney movie. <laughs> right. Okay. So is it, uh, you're, you're not moving, right? So you're doing all three actions yeah, to do the heal? I'm actually doing it as one of my, oh, pizza. First, here. first rank spell. Okay. So it's a basic fortitude is the only defense that he has against it to see if he can withstand all of that positive divine energy. He rolls his fortitude and he rolls an 11 plus what's this guy's fortitude defense? An 11 plus 6. He does not resist it. Go ahead. All right. Damage. So and... I've got it heightened by one, so the amount of healing increases by 1d8. So how many d8s? 2d8s. Okay. You're attacking him with 2d8s. Killing him with kindness. Eight, eight, eight. That's this one. Okay, thanks. Five. Five. And three. So eight. 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 Eight points of healing to me and eight points of damage to him. Okay, so get ready to cast your spell. Get ready to make your actions. Ready for the camera? Are you okay, ready? I'm ready. Set, go. <laughs> Do it again. Here we go one more time. Two D8s. Excellent. And uh, he goes, and as the divine energy hits him, he goes, and he suddenly disassembles and falls to the ground in a pile of bones and tattered clothes and undead flesh because that was all that was left of him was enough to be killed by your spell. Hey, hey! Okay. Well done. So, uh, be back? So, we will be right back in about uh, five, ten minutes. We're going to let everybody go and have a break. Oh my god. We have some pizza. Talk about talk about Percy having some pizza. Wait, 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 wait. Where is he? Uh, Percy. <laughs> Percy, hold up your plate. Percy. Yeah, <laughs> Percy's got a little bit of pizza. We're gonna the have pizza. a pizza party. <laughs> okay. All right. We're we're running a little late tonight, so we didn't eat the way we normally do. Hey, uh hit the Dave head to turn my head back on in these frames. Which one? Dave bottom bottom head. Dave head. Right there. Good. Okay, that's good. All right, that'll we'll leave that on for most of the time unless we need to disappear it for somebody else. Okay, okay go ahead. Take us to be right back, and we'll see you.